In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use a 6-inch ruler to measure different objects. Here, as you can see, we have some rectangles. This is a 6-inch ruler. It has one side with inches and another side with centimeters. As you can notice, the inches are bigger than the centimeters. All right, if I want to measure the smaller rectangle, what I do is I make sure that my ruler is at the beginning of one of the sides, at one of the corners, and I measure. If I go off, then I'm going to get the wrong measurement. I can't go too far outside of the corner, and I can't go inside the corner. I have to make sure that I start right at zero. As you can see, my line is right at the edge of the corner. And our small rectangle measures about two inches. Now, let's look at the medium-sized rectangle. Again, I make sure that my ruler is right at the corner, and this one measures about three centimeters. My larger rectangle measures about four and a half centimeters. Okay, let's try another object. All right, now we're going to measure in centimeters. The first line, I'm going to make sure that my ruler starts at the edge of the line and not before it. The first one, if I look, I see that this line measures about 5 centimeters. I measure from edge to edge. And my second line, I see that my second line is just a little over 8 centimeters, close to 8.5. So I could say that my second line measures about 8.5 centimeters. If they wanted you to measure to the nearest centimeter, then you could say that it measures about 8 centimeters. Now the longer line measures about 12 centimeters. And we just learned how to use a 6-inch ruler to measure in inches and centimeters.